your character seems very, you know, fierce, very calm, very passive initially, but she's actually very much in control. What intrigued you the most about her? Um, well, she's sort of out of control, I think. That's why I mean, she's being held back and boxed in. And I think that's what makes her sort of burst out of this box. She's only in control, I think, weirdly, once she's arrested. She only, she's only free once she's been locked up. Oh, amazing. You're writing an essay. Um, but uh, I, I was so interested in the two very different sides of her and fun to play. And all the cursing, did it have an impact on your private life? Do you curse more or less, more creatively maybe? No, but this is so, you know, if I was to play an axe murderer, I wouldn't become an axe murderer in my private life. You know, it's an acting job. But uh, I do, I love swearing, uh, but it's made no difference. It hasn't made me swear more or less. And finally, it's so amazing that there's three female leads, basically, men all in, you know, side characters. How important is it for you personally to look for stories like that as well? I mean, that was by accident, not on purpose. This was just a lovely, funny script that arrived, and we said, oh, I like that, I want to do it. But, um, you know, there's uh, half, over half of our population are women, and they like to see themselves reflected on the screen, as do men, as does everybody. So uh, it's, there's always room for it. Um, look at Barbie. Loads of amazing women in Barbie. Big box office hits. Uh, and Bridesmaids, always my favourite. Uh, so, yeah, it's, there's always space for it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!